welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on this nice summery spring sunset kind of look right here this is a super quick easy tutorial and in this video I'm going to be using two different palettes my ColourPop yes please palette and their my little pony as well so these little two guys created this fabulousness on my face if you are interested in seeing how I did this, then just keep on watching. But before we get into it, please make sure that you thumbs up this video if you do love this look. <laughs> that you subscribe and hit that notification button down below as well so you don't miss out any of my videos which are uploaded every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to prime my eyes using my ABH Concealer and 1.5 and I'm just taking that and just dabbing that on both sides of my eyes now I'm not using a lot but I'm using enough so that the colors are nice and pigmented and that my whole eye is completely covered all the way out and all the way in so the first color we're gonna go in with is this shade right here from the QAF palette which is also called the yes palette I believe this shade right here from the palette and then the num the names are on the back but I don't know if it's exactly behind it or you read it so I believe this one is called big big cocktail and I'm just gonna use that with a morphe m504 and I'm gonna press that into my crease as our first transition and then once I kind of got it into place I'm kind of just buffing it out a little bit more all the way from the inner to outer corner you guys if I apply my shadow a certain way like around it I feel like that is what complements my eyes the most um, but if you have um, like a different shape eye, if your eye is more elongated, you could definitely pull it out to make that kind of like effect. But I like my shadows to be more rounded most of the time. Please use the same colors, just switch up the kind of techniques. So I'm just bringing that all the way out. And if you notice, I'm kind of doing big circular motion, so it's almost hitting my brow bone but not really it just kind of diffuses it a little bit more and we're gonna take that on the other eye as well so pressing it in and we're pressing it in first because we want it to stick onto the base so the concealer if I kind of like just start buffing it out it's not really gonna be as pigmented so I'm just making sure that it's well blended so the next shade I'm going to be taking is Louie or GNO one of those two colors I don't know what the actual name is but it's this shade that's on the bottom row right here so it's a more like burnt orange has a hint of brown we're gonna deepen up the crease and we're gonna be using a BH cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray number six brush so I'm gonna put that right into the crease and already I see I'm gonna have to blend this right here out it looks a little patchy-ish. So packing that on and then blending it out. My worst seasons are spring and summer because I just hate being hot. <laughs> I mean, I love the fashion and stuff, but I just don't like being sweaty and hot and ugh. And then my allergies kill me during the springtime in the summertime like my well my allergies are all year round but it's really crazy during those two times so just like this it's kind of weird we're not being really precise we're just blending the two colors so it's like almost similar in a way it looks like on camera but trust me it's really not I'm just adding that first shade right here a little bit more and then to blend out the edges are you excited that Game of Thrones is about to come back, you guys? I know I am. 
I can't wait. Like, I've been waiting a freaking two years for this joint. Ugh. So then with the shade um, Spoiled right here, or Cake Batter, whatever it's called, right here, we're going to be taking that on a Morphe M203 brush, and we're going to pack that on all over the lid. Or not all over, kind of stopping like right here, so leaving the outer part open. Um, I'm just bringing that into the crease as well. So bringing it pretty high up. And I'm packing it on. I'm not swiping it. I like to pack it on. So I'm going to take the darkest shade right here and a little bit of this cake batter or spoil. I, I don't know these colors apart. I'll leave it down in the description box. But I'm taking these shades right here, mixing it together. And then I'm going to focus that on the outer corner right here. So I'm just focusing packing it on I'm not blending or anything just literally packing it on like this side and you see how it's almost like a burgundy red because we're adding that other color instead of just a straight up dark brown that's what I was looking for I don't want a straight brown I want it to be like that pretty high up as well and then onto the lid oh, just a tad bit and we're kind of slightly like making it like this instead of just like this if that makes sense you can see like you can see the little shape I'm doing so kind of dragging it on a little bit on the lid just ever so slightly I'm gonna take a just a regular blending brush and just start blending that out and this is why I did my eyes first because I kind of knew it was going to have a little bit of fallout I'm going to go back in with that second crease color and just kind of help diffuse the edges a little bit more other side of the M203 brush we're going to take this color right here I believe it's called blank or unzipped I think it's called unzipped and we're gonna lay that right between the gold and the dark color right here right there so the gold is kind of making it a little bit more pull orange it looks a little bit more burgundy red but it just slightly makes it a little lighter almost creating like a like a sunset effect back in with that gold and replacing it since we blended it away and then kind of just overlapping it right there as well just blending with no extra um, product I'm just using that brush whatever's left on to just deepen up the edges so I'm just going to clean away the fallout, put some lashes on, and I'll be right back. The lash, I'm actually going to be taking the My Little Pony in ColourPop. And I'm going to take these two shades right here called Blossom and Sun Starshine. These two right here. And I'm going to mix them and put this on my cheeks. It just goes so well with the eyes, you know? I'm going to put a little bit on the forehead and I like to add a little bit onto the nose area as well. Ooh. So for under the lashes, I'm going to be taking the second crease shade, that which is right here. And we're going to just buff that onto the lower lash. I'm not gonna really smoke it out. I'm keeping it really, I'm keeping it pretty close to my lashes. I don't wanna bring it too far down. Just buffing that on. And I am using a Morphe M507 to do so. The bottom is always pretty like easy when it comes to looks like this. And I'm making sure I'm connecting it right here. 
And I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Orange Crush liner and I'm putting that into the waterline. This one has like a like almost like a slight shimmer. Just ever so slightly. But it's a really pretty color. Really pretty. For my inner corner highlight, I'm actually gonna go in to my B oh, it broke. Fuck. Why is everything I'm using this shade right here? Um, it's like their white highlighter. I'm gonna take that on a MAC 242 and I'm gonna put that into the inner corners. Ooh, shit. So I'm just gonna set my face before I do my brows and mascara. Whoa. Yes. Using my Morphe M501, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero palette. And I'm going to be taking Daydream, which is like this corally highlighter. And we're going to highlight the face. I think it goes really pretty for like the, you know, springtime. It's super pretty, you know? This color looks so bomb on like tan skin because it has like that peachy undertone. It just gives like a little bit of like a oomph where it's a nice glow but it's not so shiny or beaming. It's just like that nice natural highlight but it's so pretty. You could use this as a a blush topper as well if you're a little bit fairer. Lips, I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Dirty Peach Lip Liner. And I'm kind of my Anastasia palette. I'm going to take a little bit of number 11 and the primary number 1 to make like a little bit of like a nude color. So I'm just going to put that right into so the center of my lips. And then a little bit of the white and blend it. You see? I'll just lighten it. And then to top it off, I'm going to be using my Fenty Gloss. I'm going to spray my face one more time. You guys, I hope you all enjoy this quick kind of summary eye look, which I really, really love. I did this the other day for work, and I was just obsessed with it. I actually didn't use lashes the last time because I kind of wanted to just play around and I really loved how it came out and everybody was like oh my god your eyes look so pretty what do you have on can you do tutorials like why not so this is what I came up with and I did the lashes which is pretty dope because they're inexpensive as well I used the Ardell Wispies so yeah um I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys